But I want to I want to just go down the franchise uh, yeah. option, even though it's a real estate show. But I, I know, you know, any of these yourself, any most people listening, or some they got this entrepreneur blood flowing through you, and 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 uh, mm-hmm. franchise is always a, is an attractive uh, path to research. So you uh, at a young age dove into franchises. Tell us kind of your mindset at that age and, and why you found it attractive. Well, first of all, I, I like the product. You know, Jimmy John's great sandwich. I went there all throughout high school and college. And, um, you know, my dad was like, you know, I originally told him I didn't want to be in the accounting business. And he's like, okay, but whatever you do, you need to be in business for yourself. And I was like, all right. So I went to college. There's a Jimmy John's like a block from my apartment. And that's why I worked there for two years, realized, you know, I can do this. You know, it's not rocket science. You can wear a t-shirt and shorts to work every day. And I was like, all right. So I went down that path. Um, got the franchise agreement signed. I was able to secure the financing myself because it was back when they were giving money out to anyone with a pulse. And uh, yeah, in 2000, unfortunately in 2008, we opened and then 2008 happened. So that was a rough go in the beginning, but yeah, it's working out pretty well. We got two locations. One's like a stone's throw from GC and uh, the other one is on the other side of Roselle. There's something to be said, whether it be franchise, real estate investing, if you're a lender, an agent, if you got into the game in 07, right? Like yeah. when you got in, when things were as tough as they can be, I personally, like I was doing lending at that point and it was, I just didn't know any better. Right. I didn't know that there were good times. I just knew For like, Oh, first. this is really tough. Like the, the odds of you making it, I feel are just like astronomically higher than someone who started in 2000, whatever. Well, for the first right? eight, for the first 18 months of our existence, we were the only shop open in a plaza of 18. So <laughs> there's 17 vacancies in us in a new construction. So no one knew how to get in and out. There was still stuff covering the manholes. So there was like giant puddles you had to go through when it was raining out. There was construction behind us. So it was uh it was very trying. And you know, I was young and you know learning on the fly. And uh it definitely was an experience and it was a useful experience, you know. Well for anyone out there uh exploring uh franchises, any high level advice or any red flags about a franchise you might share that uh, they, they might consider in their journey? Go visit the store and go visit multiple stores to see how they run. You know, when I went to orientation way back in the day, there was a guy who had orientation that was the first Jimmy John sandwich he ever had. And I was thinking to myself, I was like, how in the world do you get into this without ever trying the product or anything, you know? He's never been to one. This is the first time I was, I was shocked. So go do your due diligence, check out how the operations work, what they tell you, you know, be careful of what they tell you, you know, they're going to try and project it in the best light possible, but do your due diligence and look around and look up, you know, stuff and look at the star when they have like the amount you make every year, there's a little star next to it. See what that star says on the bottom of the page, because it usually tells you where those numbers came from. Uh, I, I imagine. So uh, Jimmy John's is a pretty tested, tried and true product here in the Chicago market. But I, I always see franchise opportunities for like something that's not tested here in the Midwest or, or a new concept. And, and it's like, there's no discounts for that. So that's such, it seems like so much riskier when it's something oh, that's yeah. not. It's it's tough on the East Coast, you know, when they have, you know, Jimmy John's had a rough time on the East Coast. And it's because everyone has like, you know, my uncle's sandwich shop on the corner here, you know, they all have like their own grinders, the grinders out there. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, it's all like they have their friend's shop, their family shop that you go into for decades and it's just been a tough go, but I think they are finally starting to make some headway over there. So that's good. 